We are here to encourage and urge the Speaker of the House and the Republican leadership to take up a bill that we passed on July 25th, uh, this past July, that would continue, would make sure that middle class taxpayers have tax cuts this next year. Uh, we have 27 days left before middle class families see a tax hike that will average $2,200 per family. When they ask what's holding it up, I tell them call the house, get it on the floor, and guaranteed by the end of this year, you'll see yourself getting a tax cut for the remainder of next year. I've asked people uh, in Michigan to share with me what $2,200 means to them. Uh, one constituent said that that's four months of groceries for her, four months of groceries for her family. That's a big deal, four months of groceries. And we were figuring out, okay, well, uh, gallons of gas to go back and forth to work. Right now, $2,200 could buy 650 gallons of gas, and for the average commuter, they could go back and forth to work for three years. Two-thirds of the American public agrees with us, but you don't need to take their word for it either. Just listen to the voices within Speaker Boehner's own party that are saying they should pass our tax cut bill now. You know, you got to start somewhere. We all agree on this. They just don't want to use the procedure to allow their own people to vote on it. In essence, they're holding the American people, the middle class, hostage for small issues that they want to continue to fight over and over again and play the press war. Why wait 27 days, keep middle class families on the hook trying to figure out what's going to happen next year? Why not just do it now? A tax hike on middle class Americans should be taken off the table and taken off the table now.